happy Thursday. We are just getting into Apache Sitgreaves National Forest and we're doing a little overnight camp here and then we're headed to the Greer, Arizona area. Not quite Greer, but not quite Alpine. So between those two, there's a great location that we found in the past with portion of the Black River running just next to the campsite. Really beautiful area. So we are uh, taking Ross and Cody and then my brother, John. It's his birthday. So we're doing a little camp trip for that. Ross and Cody just launched their YouTube channel, which is FOB Walden, W-A-L-D-E-N. So yeah, definitely check their stuff out. They just put out a video today. By the time this comes out, it will be maybe a week or two old. Go check out their channel. Good morning from our first camp. We just did quick camp, didn't even deploy the awnings or anything. So we are getting ready to head to our next location, which is further east in Apache Sitgreaves National Forest. But everyone's just getting wrapped up, packed up, and we'll head on our way. We are now at camp in uh, the Greer area. Got everything set up. Got the uh, Xterra over there. So we are getting some wood cut for the night. So we had a good drive into this area. It's a nice, pretty unused area. We ended up just camping kind of right off the end of the road here. Last time Glenn and I were here, we were down there. We wanted to make the least impact as possible. Just kind of pulled off on each side. <laughs> we are just finishing up dinner for night one which is bison burgers and then we've got some gouda pepper jack crispy jalapenos and bacon so gonna be a great dinner well we just got uh the drones up and got some awesome shots beautiful sunset tonight and now we are just getting our fire going but as seen in the earlier montage we got a lot of good firewood for this evening lots of nice split wood to keep this going ross and cody have this great fire pit which keeps everything off the ground and especially on some of these more remote dispersed camping areas it's nice to be able to know that we're not going to have any issues with that fire spreading overall really great night and we'll probably check back in tomorrow because we're just going to sit around and keep warm the rest of the night we have some brainstorms moving in we got everything extra tied down kind of tucked up for now it has been a beautiful morning so far dogs in the camper Getting those hanging out there. My brother went into his car. Just gonna weather this storm. 
Well, we are all hiking down to the bottom of the big hill here, and we're gonna go down to the river. But Glenn and I had seen this the last time we were out. Just a bunch of uh, bones must have been a kill site or something died, and then the coyotes have definitely picked through it. There's bones scattered all through this area. So we're gonna get down there. I've got my fly pole with me, so I'm gonna try out some fly fishing. I'm using a woolly bugger, which I have been told works well for early season when there's not a ton of flies out. That was off some very basic research. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Well, no luck fishing for me, but my brother John is giving it a shot now. It's his birthday weekend, so maybe he'll have some birthday luck. We'll update accordingly. We just got back up to camp. It was really nice down there. It's been nice, but the sun's going down. It's getting real chilly, so we are making chili for dinner. Cody made a fantastic chili. We're gonna have that stay warm for the evening next to our campfire. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It must be Sunday morning and we're just getting another rainstorm. Hopefully it's not too loud on the mic there, but had a great time walking down to the river last night. Had great dinner and great hangs by the fire. So looking forward to uh, just enjoying a bit of a chilled out day today. May still go down one more time to the river, not sure, but yeah, we're just having a great trip. All right, so something new for this trip. In preparation for our three week trip that we leave for next week, we have got a new solar panel. So I went ahead and mounted that up. Basically the panel is from here to there. And then I bought one inch square tubing. Went ahead and used the pre done holes on the panel and then drilled out the tubing and then used U-bolts for the hookup there. So we've got that wired. And then this is where that solar is output. And then I put a SAE plug on the trailer with weatherproof cap. So that's the first time I've drilled a hole in the trailer. A little nerve wracking, but I think everything went well. And then as of right now, we also have our folding panel. Got that on a Y feeding our EcoFlow. So we're getting 133 watts right now input. We've been running the fridge, Ross and Cody's Starlink. It's been drawing at least 30 watts all day. Pretty good. We are starting to get topped up now that the clouds have cleared out a bit. Got nice sun for at least a while. Well, it's getting to evening here. So we just got the rest of the firewood kind of processed and ready to go for the evening. Got this smaller pile and that's what we think we'll use tonight. And then we had a ton more. We thought this was going to burn much quicker. It's uh, so from my understanding it's ponderosa pine. It I guess is a bit more fire resistant than typical pine. So it burns long. It's uh, still a nice hot fire, but it lasts way longer than we expected. We just finished packing up the trailer and everything and we're going to head back home. We're saying goodbye to Cody and Ross. Bye. Bye. Okay.
and uh, hopefully we'll see them again soon in the future. Get prepared for our next big trip. Yep. Yeah.